It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. Infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai San's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kaneshiro's was fake money. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. Could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. Huh? What's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, it actually looks like there's a shape formed in the haziness. Oh yeah, you can actually see it's a little, like, notebook-looking thing. If I had to guess, I'd say Sis's treasure is a police notebook. Right. Your father was. She probably thinks Dad died because the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is meaningless, and that there's no point in living a subservient life. Dad's death is even the reason she aspired to become a prosecutor and grew so obsessed with winning. She really loved him. Hmm. Saison's heart must be exhausted from living in such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. But that is exactly why we need to change her heart. Yes, that it is. And now we've ascertained the location of the treasure for that goal. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? Let's go. Okay. We'll be able to send the calling card from the real world now. Don't think there's anything else I want to do in Sai's palace. I think we're good. Let's let's bail, boys. We out. What do you want to do? You've secured our route to the treasure. You want to get out of here? Return to the real world. Nice. Yes. Finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Um. So the real battle begins once we actually send it. It's a bit nerve-wracking to think about. Let's prepare well to make sure we don't mess up now. Okay. Did great today. You tired? I'm always tired. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. Still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. Public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? It's a possibility. True. But there would be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Akira. So they say let you know, but if you try to send the calling card, then uh, Akechi will be like, hey, don't do that. So... I guess we'll play a freaking video game again. Since we can't go out, let's play more Punch Ouch. Why not? Okay. It says Punch the Ouch, and Ouch is spelt with a T, so it looks like Out, because it's supposed to be Punch Out. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna use the trick for more time. Absolutely. I, I paid good money for that oh. cheating book. Our opponent is here, the fight's about to start. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here comes one of our most skilled boxers, Graham Cracker Joe. Graham Cracker Joe! He might be small, but don't underestimate him. His quick movements will decimate you. I'm here with you. Just practice what we... Remember what we practice, rather. Don't lose. And right as the bell rings, Joe comes out aggressive. Don't let him shake you up. Persevere and figure out what his weakness is. How are we supposed to do that? Wait. Looks like his form loosens up after he goes on the offensive. What are you running around for? Are you trying to... Ah, I get it. You're on the right track. Sway to avoid his attacks. Challenger lands an impressive counter and Joe falters. Now go for the flurry. Easy. What an intense string of punches. Joker goes... Or Joe goes down, rather. Joker stays up. Count starting. I hope he doesn't get up. Ah, oh, Joe's back up. You've got him on his heels. Keep up your footwork. Easy. Give him the flurry. Let's go. What a combo. Joe goes down. Please don't get up. Ten. Graham Joe has crumbled. Our challenger wins. Nice bout. Expected nothing less out of my apprentice. Too easy. Yes. Managed to win your first match by a hair. What are you talking about? Nice. I destroyed him. Yeah. Hmm. He stood no chance. No chance at all. Nice. I have nothing to read. I've read too many books. I feel that. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not sleep deprived because I want to be, you know? My neighbors have been careless lately on garbage day. The crows were cawing away this morning. Those trash nets the city makes us use only keep them away at the start. The crows are quick learners. On that note, do you all know how to write the kanji for crow? Characters for bird and crow look very similar, but the latter has one fewer line. What do you think, Krusukun? Isn't it easy to confuse with bird? Do you know oh my goodness, answer? yeah, it's only different by one line. The line in the character for bird has a line that the character for crow doesn't. It represents the eye, but... Do you know why it's missing in the character for Crow? No particular reason. Oh, crow's eyes are hard to see. Oh, I guess that makes sense because the eyes are as black as the feathers. This is it. Way to go. That's right. Crows are black feathered, of course, so it's hard to spot their black eyes. But crows actually have great vision. They can even see UV rays, apparently. He's gone it. Nice. Get a question about crows because we got my boy Crow in the party. By the way, one reading for a different crow kanji is ga to imitate the sound of it calling. Ga, ga! <laughs> the character for pigeon is the same. It's based on the bird's coo, leading to the coo pronunciation. Crows are pretty smart, so you'd better study enough so that you don't lose to them. <sighs> crows are scary, let me tell you. When your eyes meet, they start flapping and shudder. Yeah, I know a very dangerous and smart crow. Two of them, actually. A catchy and a Tachi. Hey. Shouldn't you tell the others about the target of Mementos? Yeah, probably. Probably. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe this is what happened to Michael. Now none of the Phantom Thieves seem to be available. What if I go to the roof, though? Is Haru up here? Hey, you're here. We now know the location of the treasure. All that's left is the calling card. We'll need to assemble before we can do that. Yes. Okay, does this have something to do with your plan somehow? All we have to do now is send the calling card. Yeah, I guess you can't hang out with the Phantom Thieves after you finish your palace. That's actually pretty lame. Like, that's actually, like, really lame. Why would they do that? What's the purpose? What does that accomplish? Whenever they do make a Persona 6, I also hope they get special outfits and stuff, because it was pretty disappointing to go to Persona 4 and it'd be like, yeah, they just wear their school uniforms the entire time. And I was like, oh, well, that sucks. The Phantom Thieves have, like, really sick outfits. <laughs> Got a Phantom Thieves strap this time from the capsule toy machine in the back alley. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's hang out. I have Seth. Hey. Have you eaten yet, Kruso-san? I'm starving. But the hunger doesn't really bother me when I'm playing. I disagree. I get very hungry while eating. Let's go eat something. Really? What? Are you sure? Okay, today's training will be a lecture. If you pay for my meal, I'll let you have the course for free. 
Okay. I get my meal and you get your training, so we're both happy. Let's go. Stop wasting time and take me someplace to eat. Phew. If you try to send the card first and have a catchy tell you no, then maybe the thieves will hang out. All right, we'll try that in a second. Ooh, I'm stuffed. Gotta eat good because I'm fighting a war. Didn't I tell you? I've been having serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't let my guard down. Wow. Uh, are you getting beat up by bullies? All I did today was throw eraser crumbs into my lunch, though, so I won that round. Uh, what? Are they bullying you? It's a war. I No, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you're stupid. I'm on the defensive right now, but I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I can finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that now's not the right time. Aww. It gets kind of annoying having to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the Phantom Thieves to take care of them. Sob, sob. Your food is here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. So that means you'll just have to try harder next time. Now eat up and feel better. Better words. You're not mad. Of course not. You did your best, and that's all that counts. Now no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. Yeah, your mom sounds like scum. My mom's fighting with my school about how classes are taught, the way teachers treat students, the size of the classes. Hey. Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to work, then she comes home really late to take care of me. It's no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know? But all my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. I mean, she sounds like a real Karen. When I tell them to stop, they call me a mama's boy. That's how the war started. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. You really love your mom, huh? If you call me a mama's boy, then I'm not gonna teach you how to play gun about anymore. Dude, I don't know how to talk to small children because small children are stupid. This kid is stupid. Before I forget, I need to show you something. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else about this, okay? But I'm going to show you a guaranteed way to win. I feel like my bond with Shinya is growing deeper. I cast found out you're a fan of the Tales of series. Wondered if you'd played Vesperia and if you would recommend it. I have played Vesperia. It's quite possibly my least favorite Tales of game. A lot of other people that played Tales of think it's really good. I have a feeling those people maybe have only played that game in the series. I personally would not recommend it, especially as your first Tales of game. I would highly recommend looking into, like, Tales of Berseria. It's a really good starter. But, uh, I mean, you know, I don't think Vesperia is all that great. I don't like it that much. Warning shot. Able to scare enemies in negotiation to make it easier to obtain a persona. Let's go. All right. I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Oh, it's kind of late. Guess I should go home. I got no music notes with this kid. I don't understand how to talk to him. Later. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. Thanks for that food earlier. Guess that's also kind of training, technically. We just talked a bunch about me today, so you gotta tell me more about the Phantom Thieves next time. Maybe we can go eat something again while we're at it. Any food requests? Oh my goodness, what is with this kid's music notes? I get to choose. I can think of something on the spot. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I went out to eat with anyone but my mom. Okay, let's go some let's go get some hamburger steak next time. It's my favorite food. Come to think of it, mom hasn't made hamburger steak in a while either. But she seems super busy, so not much I can do, I guess. Wonder if she's coming home late again tonight. Bye, Cruz Susan. I'll see you at the arcade. All right, time to hit you very hard with uh, Chihaya. Ah, you're back. What's up, Copy Daddy? Inmate. Yeah, yeah. What, leave me alone. Ten days. Who have we got to hang out with? Sojuro's maxed. A Y isn't available. Chihaya or Oya can rank up. We should rank up Oya, unfortunately. Because she's like the lowest nighttime confidant right now, I think. Let me look at my confidants, actually. 
We did get Haru all the way up to six, which is very good. She's already over the halfway point. Futaba is at the halfway point, which is fantastic. We can max out Chihaya next time we hang out with her, which is fantastic. Two ranks to go on Kawakami, two to go on Awai. Yeah, Oya has four. I'm probably going to go hang out with Oya, because as soon as I rank up uh, Shinya like one or two more times, then Oya is going to be the lowest rank. Oh, wow, we're almost like done. There's not much more to do. We might max out every confidant in the the next deadline, like before we get to the new school year, which would be pretty insane. They've definitely made it way easier to pull off in the Royal. Yeah, let's go hang out with Oya. We'll max out Chihaya later. I'm more worried about Oya right now because she's the lowest one down and, you know, with availability and all that being a thing. We do still have a devil on us, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go to Chihaya first and use her ability on uh, on Shinya because he's the one who needs it the most right now. So give me that affinity reading if you do? don't mind. And we're gonna hit up Shinya with it. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We all hate to do it, but let's go get Oya to rank five. We'll be halfway done. Oh, honey. What's up? Hmm. Kumara Foods, that was unexpected, huh? Then your principal commits suicide. Public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents, but something doesn't add up. Maybe you're rubbing off on me, but I guess a journalist's got to question everything. Higher-ups are starting to get tired of one-off articles. You have anything good to share? Let's rank up. Well then. Let's hear it. Oh? Sad Ace Detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apologize to you about. Well, you can apologize for being a terrible character. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, uh, ended up finding out about the criminal record. It's kind of a dick move. Realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity. Found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. So sorry about that. Have to say, though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. Must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. I don't like... I, I hate you saying that we're the same in any regard because of your investigation. Exactly. I'm going to avenge my partner for... Whoops. Lalachan, refill. Nah, it's your turn to tell the truth. Can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Why is Lalachan like five times the character you are when she barely does anything? Wait, don't blame me for that. It doesn't have anything to do with my private business. Yeah, you can trust me. I'm just going to put it all over the internet. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. Hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Because as far as I'm concerned, you are the bad guy. Look, you're going to feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all the alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. Please explode. Just like Squidward did in that one episode where he ate all the Krabby Patties. That's true. And I guess, it, I guess this is the fairest course of action of our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm going to tell everyone. Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with photography, Kayo Murakame. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to, re to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she had gotten hold of something big. But... That was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Well, cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or suicide. As for the killer, Shit. police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. More importantly, it's pretty screwed up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Chico-chan. Sorry. 
Case was closed, but we never found the truth, and Kaya was labeled a professional disgrace. Since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Kayo's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. It's unforgivable. You're right. You're not ready for the next rank, really. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. All right, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it, though. Sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile that much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay, then. I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves' lofty ideals in connection with the secret society. Ha, just kidding. Don't worry. I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. Yeah, you better. 